But first tonight, we've been following the controversy all year. Many families of children with autism lost their insurance for applied behavioral analysis because of a loophole in the law. Parents took the issue to the legislature, but it failed to make the coverage a mandate for all insurance policies, even though it's been shown to have been effective in the treatment of autism. Now, after getting criticism from parents, Governor Nome has helped bridge a gap in coverage for some of these kids. Kelloland's Angela Kennecke joins us now with an update. Well, if you work for a big company that provides health insurance, they're required to provide coverage of ABA therapy for children with autism. Otherwise, parents are out of luck when it comes to getting the treatment paid for, which can run about $100,000 a year. While the state legislature failed to close the loophole, the South Dakota Division of Insurance did change the rules for 2021 to require coverage for small group and individual plans. But that still left many children without coverage for two years, which according to parents is too long. Now, South Dakota's two largest insurance companies have voluntarily agreed to provide it on more plans. Hey, what number? Eight. We've sacrificed so much of our life to put Jake in therapy. Parents Heidi and Casey Smith say applied behavior analysis is worth it. Life-changing for him. I mean, it has potty trained him. Sanford Health Plan and Avera Health Plans have now voluntarily agreed to extend coverage in 2020 that won't be required of them until 2021. The Smiths, who currently rely on insurance through Casey's employer for ABA coverage, say this could give them more options. Potentially, it means that, you know, finally my husband could get a job here in South Dakota in Sioux Falls and be home every night with us instead of being out on the road. So it's, it's good news for us. Avera Health Plans provided ABA coverage on all of its policies through 2019, but then said it wasn't financially possible to continue. For 12 children, about $1.2 million in annual expense. Avera says when no other insurance companies were offering the coverage for policies where it wasn't mandated, it created an unfair financial burden. It needed to be spread out amongst all carriers within the marketplace, and we tried to voluntarily have conversations with other carriers to say, would you be interested in doing this expansion uh, under a voluntary conversation, and, and never got anywhere with that. So what changed? Well, I think a couple of things. Uh, you know, it's a point in time, and this is a different point in time. Uh, we were approached by uh, the, the, the state to consider covering it. Mom Lindsay Janklow has been an outspoken advocate for her son RJ who has autism. There's going to be some coverage. Um, there's still limitations, but I'm happy that we don't need to fight for these kids to miss a whole other year of therapy. One of those limitations is that it doesn't apply to the ACA marketplace policies on the exchange because federal deadlines have passed. Just because I have a son who's born with autism, doesn't mean I should go and have to search for a policy that will cover his therapy. Every policy in the state should cover it. That will happen in 2021 under the new state benchmark. But even then, Janklo and other parents take issue with the limits placed on the therapy when it comes to hours and ages. They say that violates federal law for the treatment of a mental health condition. Wellmark, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield did not take part in this ABA coverage agreement for 2020. We've reached out to them to ask why, but have not heard back.